What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be taking a look at this aquarium here, or paludarium as we like to call it. We're going to be doing some maintenance on it, kind of going over a couple things. Then it's going to kind of just be a relaxing type of maintenance video. So if you want to check that out, stay tuned. Well, what's going on guys? Justin from H2O Plants. And today, like I said, we're taking a look at this paludarium. We set this up probably about two, I think two or three years ago maybe now. And it has a beautiful red mangroves that are growing up out of it, along with a ton of foliage up top here. Unfortunately, down here, there's a lot of algae that's broken out, and so what I'm going to try and do in today's video is clean this up as much as possible. I'm actually really short on time, so we're going to kind of speed through this. Uh, hopefully, I can get this done in about 15 minutes or so. There isn't that much, but it, there is a good thick layer of algae here, and then we're going to actually be dosing something, so I'm going to be talking about that in today's video, and then probably in next week's or the week after that, we're going to do like an update video having to show what the algae... Um, stuff does to try and get rid of it all but um yeah that's about it we're gonna bring it in closer we're gonna try and straighten it up a bit i may just leave the top uh kind of how it is for now and just worry about the inside and then the top will be another video because there's a lot up here that needs to be done as far as uh trimming some stuff and um taking care of it so uh yeah let's let's get into it all right so here's an up close to the tank you can see all this right here covered in like this kind of it, it's a weird type of algae I think it's more of like a filamentous than anything else but like always we're gonna use first our handy dandy toothbrush I've gone over in the several past uh, maintenance videos what a beaut this thing is to use and how it just helps removing a bunch of the algae easily and what you're gonna do is just like you do when you eat like pasta with a fork you're gonna twirl it around once you get some on there and you're just gonna kind of hook it in and try and get as much out as possible. Now, I'm not really too worried about ripping out some of the plants here, uh, mainly because uh, I've got a lot in here, and this is for some reason stuck. Oh, I think that's a root actually for this plant. This was a peace lily that I threw in here. Up top here, I'm just gonna cut the root, cut the other root. So um, yeah, this is a little baby peace lily that I have um, that I wanted to, throw in here and see what it'll do, but it's got a ton of algae on it, so I'll try and take all that off real quick. But yeah, you can see here, it's got a ton of roots, it's loving the water. When I put it in here, the roots were not nearly as, uh, as big as they are now. I'm just going to kind of wedge this right back in there somewhere. Uh, right back here, I don't know if you guys can see that, probably not, but uh, yeah. yeah, right in there should be fine. Okay. So now we got this toothbrush with all, all these plants on it. I got a little container off to the side here that I'm gonna put everything in. But yeah, this tank, this tank's probably gone, uh, well, the last time I did maintenance on it was probably around Reef of Palooza and or the Aquatic Experience. I honestly don't remember. Um, but I really didn't even do that much. And typically this tank doesn't have issues with uh, this algae, but um, a couple months ago I noticed it. I didn't really do anything about it because I kind of wanted to make this video on, um, on it. Like, I wanted to showcase what the, um, what the algae, uh, like solution, algae fix is, is, is what it's called, what that does. Uh, but right now we're not up to that point yet. We just gotta, you always want to try and manually remove as much algae as possible before you start any kind of treatment because the more mass that's in there just the easier it is for it to replicate and the whole idea is you want to try and minimize whatever you have in there so you could just really go to town with the medication and hopefully that will uh, will do what you need so yeah I'm just ripping out even you know some of these chunks of plants I mean, usually if you have a little piece of the plant left, it's not worth trying to keep the rest of it. I know like it sucks to throw out plants, but honestly, when it is covered like this, uh, you know, whatever's coming out as I'm ripping the algae out is just going to come out and stay out. Um, if it doesn't immediately get uprooted when I'm doing this, then it could stay. But I'm not going to try and sit there and peel algae off these leaves or whatnot. Um, if it's coming up with the algae, there's probably a good reason for it. And it means the algae is really stuck on there. And even if you do think that you removed removed it by hand, odds are 
there's still going to be some left and um, you're not going to get it all so it's just best to do what you can and take it off or take it out of the tank so I'm just grabbing what I can here because there is quite a bit Now I know this type of video isn't for everybody, um, you know, this isn't really, I wouldn't say it's a typical video, usually I like to do these plant spotlights, but honestly, I think I've done about every plant we sell in some way, shape, or form, for the most part, or some variations of each plant, so, um, I'm kind of running out of ideas, so a good old maintenance video right now will work, because it's funny, I record these typically on Sundays, and I upload on Sunday night. Um, sometimes Monday morning but yeah I record and edit and upload all in the same day so there's this little um, there's this little patch of moss down here I don't know how well you guys can see it probably not that well let me see if I can get a little bit closer so it it has been uh, growing a ton of algae on it so I'm actually gonna take this guy out because I can see that's got a ton of it I'm just gonna try and remove uh, as much with my hands, so pretty much what I'm doing is I'm just going through like this and just kind of plucking uh, the moss off of here and along with a lot of the algae. I'm gonna leave leave this in there. Hopefully it survives the algae fix because the one thing about algae fix is it may in fact kill some good mosses and other plants. Um, it can kill vowels and crypts, so if you have any of those and you really want to keep them, algae fix may not work for you, but, uh, let's see what I can get now, there's probably a bunch of algae in the back, which it looks like there is, unfortunately I can't really get back there because the way the tank was built, um, there's an exoskeleton essentially in the, in, in, or a skeleton inside of here, and um, I made it out of uh, this plastic, um, what is it, it's like a, light a light diffuser panel that you can get from like Lowe's you get like a sheet of it and uh, you typically if you ever go inside of an office building or a doctor's office and you look up usually there's like this grid that goes over the light that's what I used and um, so that I broke apart and created a, uh, a frame for it behind behind all this uh, foliage and plants and um, rocks and all that and that's what's you uh, using for this elevation that rises up. I did a whole video on it, so I'll make sure I link it up above if you guys want to check that out. Uh, but, so it makes it cleaning like back in the back of the tank really difficult and kind of, uh, it's just too much of a hassle to do without really like, I have to drain the tank mostly down, pull the tank out from the wall so I could get back there and clean it. So. My hopes is I could just limit what's going on up front here, make it a little bit nicer looking, and uh, yeah, that'll that'll be that. So, and I'm also while I'm here, I'm just cleaning up some like dead leaves. A lot of the um, mangroves they shed their leaves, and uh, there's just a lot of I don't know. It looks like there's still like this like weird fuzziness on this side. Let me see what I can get out of here but yeah the red mangroves they shed their leaves and then they fall in the water here and uh, it helps to add tannins and they look cool but once there's a certain amount of them I just want to get them out you see like this brown leaf it looks cool it makes it look more nature uh, more natural and uh, you know something that you would actually see in a way but all in all it just doesn't uh, doesn't look good and there's a lot of it. Although I wouldn't mind turning this into like a black water tank. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to brush the glass because sometimes algae will stick to glass and uh, I'm just going to try and get as much of it off of it as possible. So that way I'm going to stir it up here to just try and agitate it. Now it sucks because downstairs we switched our or I switched our faucet in our kitchen and before I would use that faucet to do water changes and now uh, because there was a hookup for the python so now there is no 
um, hook up anymore because the faucet doesn't have the attachment and even with all the adapters I have I still can't get it to work so uh, the water changes don't really exist for the tanks back here um, let's see now there's all these particles like floating here I'm gonna put the the uh, filter output and see what, what it does here because this thing normally didn't have algae and I don't know why it just all of a sudden started I don't know if it's because of um, Something I changed when uh, when we took the tank to uh, to aquatic experience or what? Let's see. Can I get it? There we go. Okay. So it looks like it's still flowing pretty good. I don't know why it's uh why it's looking like this, but in any event. That's a lot of it there. What I'm going to actually use is one more tool here. So typically, we use this pipe cleaner to clean the um, inlets and outlets of the filters, but because it has a lot of bristles on it, I'm going to try and just get more algae out of here that I could see floating. It's also on the glass right here, so I'm going to scrape up against the glass with this. Yeah, I could see the whole all this right here it's stuck on the glass you guys probably won't be able to see it. it's very very tiny uh, but did get a little bit there and now what I'm gonna use is I'm gonna take this razor blade and see if I can scrape some of it off here try and get this glass clean razor blades or credit cards are an excellent tool for this stuff Fortunately, I need something that <laughs> reaches a bit deeper because uh, I can only go down so far. There's so many rocks and stones here that, or uh, rocks and wood that prevent me from doing anything more. Um, but yeah, now it looks a little bit better. All those particles are gone that were there. I see a little more algae right here. Let me see if I can get it. I think that looks pretty good right now. Uh, there's a little bit more over here. Let me see. I know the moss is right here as well. Okay. Yeah, see, moss attracts algae usually really easily. And so that's part of what I think happened here because I added the moss in. Oh, there's a whole lot of it too right here. You can see right here in the middle. Attached to the main red mangrove here. So we take this tank to all the events uh, that we do when we do them. Don't know if we're doing any more this year, but or uh, any more for 2020. We'll see what happens. As of right now, I don't have anything booked. But when we do go to the events, people really, really love this tank. I've even had people offering to buy it, but um, I think I no, I did sell it to one kid, but then uh, unfortunately he had to leave the show and the time frame just wouldn't work out. It was his parents that uh, wanted him to leave. But um, it's just like my favorite tank out of all of them, so I don't want it to. I never, I didn't really want to sell it. <laughs> get rid of it because it's uh, the people like love it when they see it in person and stuff I, I like I'm really proud of this thing despite its algae problems right now uh, anything else that I can trim up maybe no that's about it now so oh there's a bunch more over there on that side let me get that See, it's like if you, you, you think you get it all and then you like start looking through places and you're like, oh, no, nope, there's more algae there. So we're just going to scrape the glass down with the toothbrush and I'll razor blade that side real quick. Okay. Point down the glass, see what else we can see. Right, it looks pretty good but yeah I think the the algae might have came in on the moss because sometimes moss will have a spore or two and then if conditions aren't right the algae can flourish 
start to grow. It's always possible. Um, so now that we have it cleaned up, right, it's all looking a lot more clear. Before there was that giant strip of green there of uh, just algae. So now it looks better. I'm not, like I said, I'm not going to do too much more with up here and all that. Right now, I'll do that in another video just because there's a lot going on and that's a, a process and a half to do. But there is, um, it is looking noticeably cleaner. So now let's uh, talk about what we're going to use here. So now I got this bottle of algae fix, right? It's normally for ponds, but you can use it in aquariums. Uh, one thing to note that you don't want to overdo it if you have fish. Make sure you read the instructions and the label and follow that accordingly. So the label uh, says, where is it? Uh, okay, so do not overdose. Add one teaspoon or five milliliters for every 50 gallons US. So this is a 16 gallon tank, so it's gonna use roughly about one to two milliliters of liquid. So now what I'm gonna do is I got this turkey baster here. This thing is like my universal go-to and it has milliliters on here and that that first rung is 7.5. So we're only gonna probably be adding in a little bit here because if you go all the way up, that's a lot more. So let's uh, get a little bit and then we'll measure it out. Okay, so 7.5 is up here. I got to fill to about there, and that's what I'm going to dose. And that should, uh, in theory, take care of most of uh, what's going on in here as far as the algae goes. Now, if you only have plants, you can do a little bit more of a dosage. Um, just keep in mind, though, it will kill some plants. Like uh, like I said, the, the Val's uh, crypts don't like them. Mosses tend to not like it either, so if you overdo it, um, they will die. Uh, sometimes if you even just do a little bit, uh, it'll still kill valves and stuff. But that's about it there. A little bit more, let me see a little more algae there. A little bit right back here. So we'll know that the algae fix is working if all the algae starts turning white. And usually that'll happen within a day or so. So that's what we use primarily for algae control. Most of the tanks is algae fix. When we see hair algaes or other types of algaes breaking out, we do our best to remove and kind of um, maintain it. But the, uh, the best help is, uh, is algae fix, definitely. So here's just a little closer up view of the tank. As you can see, a lot of the algae that was there is now gone, a little bit more clean. Um, there is some still over here and stuff, but I can't quite get to all of this. So hopefully the algae fix will make that all turn white and then it'll disappear on its own. Uh, you do have to dose this on the regular, this algae fix. I think it, what does it say here? Uh, repeat dose every three days until algae is um, con under control or gone. So we're gonna come back in about three days and I'll retreat it and I'll do this for the next week or so. And then uh, probably next week's video will be on the update showing it. I'm also gonna use it on the other two tanks which are right over here. Cause you can see a little bit of algae growing right on there where we removed it last time. So we'll definitely do, uh, do it on that tank. And also this tank over here, you could see a lot of the algae kind of took over here. So I'm gonna dose those tanks off camera and then we'll come back to those uh, next week and I'll show what, what happened to them. And that about wraps it up. If you guys enjoyed the video, hit that like button. If you have any questions or comments or any suggestions, make sure you leave it in the comments below having to do with this algae maintenance and uh, algae fix if you've used it in the past. If you're new here, consider hitting that subscribe button. If you enjoyed the video, hit that like button. If you wanna check out any of our previous videos, you could click either one of those and I will see you guys next time.